Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show how I made this projector screen is diagonally 155 inch. I started with doing some homework. I made a rough sketch on a paper and it gave me idea about the dimension. I picked some uh, regular bird from uh, Home Depot. It is uh, like an expensive bird, like $4.58 per eight feet piece. Then I took art site and ran through my table saw to make the, the actual size. But the best after running table saw, uh, second step I ran through the, the planner, all pieces, uh, both sides to make it smooth and splinter free. After running through planner, the final step I use my miter saw to cut down the actual length I need. After I finish outside, I brought all the wood uh, inside to make an actual frame uh, where this actually screen going to be hang. I lay on the floor as they are joining. Now I decide to uh, double check the length and the width if I made the, the size actually what I was looking for before I join all the corners. I also decide to use some perfect 90 degrees to make my all the corners accurate and for more a uh, little bit more strength. So just in case when I'm gonna put my screen on it, so it's not gonna break or it's not gonna be uh, like a band. I start joining my corners uh, with the pocket hole screws and then I use 90 degree corners from the side. I repeat same process on all four corners. After joining all four corners, uh, that's the frame is look like and ready to install screen on it. To secure screen on my frame, I'm using a T50 916 uh, inch and 14 millimeter uh, staple uh, with my staple gun. I start stapling my screen. But it will it give me a little tough time over here because if I pull one side, it just move to other side. I don't want to be a uh, short on one side because once I have a staple on it, it's gonna make a hole. Then it's not gonna look nice. So I decide to use some um, clamps. I put clamps on it and I fold it up and start stapling from one side. Then I was running to the other side. It took a while to make uh, the nice and smooth surface.
I'm almost done stapling all sides and then I need third hand to hold the staple so I can make sure all the all sides uh, there's no hanging cloth and can be get caught in hand so my daughter Mandy helped me uh, but she's really also excited to help me she always helped me on the project and she was really happy doing this project too I'm also installing some LED lights they call super night LED lights RGBW uh, to make a little bit more fancy I'm using mini Wi-Fi controller can uh, those LED can be controlled by cell phone with the Alexa and also can be controlled with the remote. It comes with it. installing the LED lights I use some hot glue at the all four corners and to uh, to mount my controller and I plugged in to test uh, it, it worked pretty well um, I'm using my cell phone to test <music> my screen to the front side and they start applying uh, black tape all sides to make a nice uh, border it is two inch white and pure black tape I picked from Home Depot and it's cost me about like eight or nine dollar I finished with my black tape and now time to hang screen and test at this point my wife she helped me to hang and we test Here is the finished product. It came up amazing and my whole family liked it. Uh, if you like my video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching.